There's the life. Beagle stretched out, taking an afternoon nap. Hey folks, Ray from uh, our LoveyRV.com here, finally again. It's been quite a while since you've heard from me. Um, I'm actually gasp. I'm in a sticks and bricks house again, just on the Vancouver Island here. Nice view though, waterfront. Um, unfortunately, Anne's uh, mom, she's in her 80s and she's not doing very well, so uh, we've kind of um, put our RV in storage and we've uh, moved in a bit with her dad to take care of her dad. He's 87, so we're kind of kind of taking care of him through a rough time here, so I haven't had much chance to do any uh, RVing, but uh, what I've been doing, busying myself, is uh, I got myself a new laptop, a 17-inch Dell here. So uh, it's one of those convertible types, so I think it's going to be good for the RV. Um, you know, I can set it up in a tent situation like this and use it for, uh, you know, if we want to watch Netflix, it pops up like that. It's all touch screen, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, if we want to watch a video, be cool, eh? Let's give you a look at it. You can see it's a full laptop, and it's quite a large one because I wanted something to sort of replace the the desktop, but not so big in the RV. And this is this is perfect. It's nice and big, so I can do all my work, but. Then when it's entertainment time, I can uh, put it in tent mode like that. That actually goes all the way. It can be a, a really large tablet. So, I've been working on uh, getting all my software moved over to that, which is always quite a chore. That took quite a while. And then, I think I'll show you this is my, my other site. I have my Love Your RV site, but I also have a community site called RV Happy Hour. Dot com and it's it's sort of like kind of like a Facebookish site or or a forum site. It's kind of a slash between the two of them. But I've been developing that over the last few years, and uh, I decided to give it a complete overhaul. So I thought it'd be a good time um, to do that. And I've been spending the last couple of weeks hard at work at that. So that's why I haven't seen too many uh, regular videos. So let me just walk you through this site in case you want to join up and uh, meet some other RVers. So, so here we are at the RV Happy Hour website, and I'll just give you a quick overview of it here. I'll log in with a test user. I used Angie. So here we'll log in her. Okay, don't need you. And there. So when you log in, you come to uh, your profile page. Each member gets their own little page, and uh, it's kind of like the the account page where you can go and and do it check out your notifications if I click notifications here it'll show contacts to Angie and she can go in and read she has friendship requests and private messages and other people liked what she said there's her private messages um, she everybody can set a location so she can she's in Yuma right now <laughs> that's where she is and once that location is set then on the members map she'll show up I'll just show you there's a mapping feature that shows all the members and where they are let's zoom in here uh, I guess she was last updated in Yuma there we are there there's Angie so you can go through and see each member and a little bit of information about them she's you know what she's doing um, there's also a, um, a forums, which is a main reason I started it, is I wanted a place, a place to uh, answer questions. People would um, contact me through email, and I'd be answering the same thing over and over. So I decided maybe if I start a forum site, I can answer it once and then point to the forum. And then uh, people can go from there, and other people can step in and answer the questions too. And we can kind of get together and all get a good answer so you can see how the forums work they're just a standard type of bulletin board that's been around for years uh, let's see people will post this is one of my favorite the mods and upgrades so people will post all different upgrades they've done and you can post um, photos 
upload photos onto the site, make it a little easier. And then there's also groups. So I've separated the site into different groups and you can join a group. So say you're interested in uh, boondocking, for instance, you join the boondocking group. And within that group, we have its own form and its own own wall and everything like that. So say Angie wants to join the group, she would just click join. There, once she's joined the group, then she can write something to the group, post a picture, answer people, like people. You know, along here, there's likes just like on most social media sites. There, so uh, Angie liked that. Um, another big feature is the activity feed. So everything that happens in the forums and the groups and on people's walls will show up in in the main activity as it happens. So you can always jump to that page. And on that page, you have different selections of uh, narrowing it down so you can show everything or you can just show activity of different different situations like your friends or um, just location updates or posts. There's a there's a blog on on here as well or topics. So you can really uh, drill down into that. Um, if you're if you're looking for some information, there's a site wide search. So say I'm interested in solar, I'm looking for stuff on solar. So I'd do a search for that. And then it's split into different parts of the site. So if I want to see everybody, what people have said in the activity with solar, I can find all the conversations on solar in the activity, or I can check out the forum topics and uh, find stuff that way. So that's pretty cool. Another section is the members section where you can go and uh, check out the members. Um, organize them from last active, newly registered, alphabetical. You can search for a member, say I want to find Ray. Just do a search for Ray and you can see there's me, Ray, and a bunch of other Rays that are on the site. Um, if you want to find somebody, say I want to find everybody that has a travel trailer. Just click travel trailer. And there we go, this is everybody all the members who own travel trailers have put travel trailers in their uh, their um, uh, profile. So let's just go back up here on the top corner here. You can see it's easy access to all the profile sections. So you know if I want to, Angie wants to edit her profile, she can go into the edit section and change everything in there. She can change her profile picture or she can upload a cover picture. Um, so let's see what her profile looks like. Yeah, so there you go. There's Angie, some of her hobbies, what she is, full timer. Um, you can click on a lot of these and it'll pick out all the members that are full, full timers too. So yeah, there's a lot to this site to explore. So if you'd like to uh, check it out, yeah, membership's free. There's no charge for it at all. So you would just uh, go to the home page and click the register now. And then you would just fill in these details, um, you know, username, the username, and then the name that everybody's going to call you by. That'll be your login name, username, your email address, couple passwords. You put the abbreviation for recreational vehicle. I think we all know what that is, RV. That's just to stop spam bots from signing up to the site. And then a little information. Then you complete the sign up and you'll be emailed an activation email and you click on that and you become activated and you can start setting up your site. So yeah, there you go. That's a little quick overview of the happy hour site you're more than welcome to join up and uh, chat with us i've made a lot of friends through this site and we've actually had meetups a um, bunch of us will get together especially when we're down southwest in the desert we've had some fun meetups and made some good friends like i said i've i've been uh, spending my time doing an overhaul to the site um, it's sort of a, an update to the look and feel of it um, i did a brand new theme and i've been installing some uh, 
extra uh, features and stuff like that. Um, it's always been what they call responsive, so it should look good on your phone or tablet. You can see how it changes, and you're able to scroll on a on a on a phone just like that. So uh, one thing, if if people do uh, join up and have a look, if you see any bugs with the phones, if you could if you could shoot me a message or an email, and let me know. Because obviously I can't test it on everything. I test it as much as I can, but it should work on on phones and look quite quite good. There we go. Oh, and also, if you're a member, you have um, the site will be ad free. I have some uh, ads on it to help pay for the hosting costs for the site for people who aren't members, so they can look at ads, but. Uh, for people who are, um, some people have done little donations for me, um, and that that just covers the the cost of hosting the website on the servers and stuff like that. So they get a special little place here as contributors. Um, so that's what I've been doing with my time. I'm going to get back in the RV pretty soon. It's in storage, not very far away. So I thought I'd do a, a neat little upgrade. I'm going to install this tank monitoring system. I've had my eye on it for years. The tank monitors that come in, in our RV are those crappy white dummy lights, and they haven't worked since about the first week we owned it. So this tank leveling system uses sensors that fit on the outside. You know, 281, so they're pretty pricey. That's Canadian, a little less for an American. Um, but I'll have level in percentage and it'll stay accurate accurate all the time. So I'm getting this particular model here. It has a fresh, a gray, a galley, and a black. Also has a battery monitor, uh, the pump switch, and my um, gas switch for my heater. So that's going to be pretty soon. I'm picking that up around the 13th. So I think in about a week I should have <clears throat> that installed and I'll... Uh, I'll definitely upload a video of that whole uh, rev a review on that and also an install. So I'm eagerly awaiting for that to arrive. It's sort of my birthday present. Okay, so um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Till next time, cheers.